Dear Jay and Gil, we hope you guys are having a blast on your vacation. You're probably surfing down the Amazon River. You know what would be fun? To go rafting down a jungle river. Find a lost civilization. Oh, or maybe a penguin. Swinging from branch to branch in total Tarzan fashion and eating fuzzy rocks, AKA coconuts. You guys really do seem like the best of pals. But Jay, we need to know what happened between you and Lonnie. You guys grew super close by the end of Descendants 2, but now you've committed to a year-long vacation and Lonnie is nowhere to be found. We want some answers, Jay. Where in Oridon could Lonnie have gone? We can't believe she wasn't in Descendants 3, but according to Diane Doan, the actress who plays her, Lonnie had her reasons for keeping away. Keep watching to get all the deets. We definitely weren't the only ones who noticed that Lonnie was a no-show in Descendants 3. This strikes us as strange, especially since Lonnie was such a vital character in both Descendants 1 and 2. Lonnie is brave, smart, and unpredictable, which would have made her a total asset. Plus, she knows how to wield a sword like there's no tomorrow, so she would have been a valued ally during the fight with the Metal Knights. While Lonnie has her reasons for keeping away, it makes no sense that she would miss her best friend Jane's birthday party. And since she's such a good fighter, the Lonnie we all know and love totally would have offered her services once she found out about the sleep spell. But most peculiar of all is how Jay didn't even mention Lonnie once throughout the film. We got the impression that Jay and Lonnie were couple goals at the end of Descendants 2. Jay supported her and helped her become the captain of the Swords and Shields team. Whereas Lonnie saw Jay for who he truly was and risked her life to help the VK save Ben. This VKAK relationship was a dream come true, which is why tons of fans have shipped Johnny since the very beginning. We were certain that these two would be dating by the time Descendants 3 rolled around, but no, Lonnie was nowhere to be found and Jay didn't feel the need to mention her at all. It's possible that Jay and Lonnie gave romance a try, but quickly realized that they were better off as friends. This would explain why Lonnie wasn't present and why Jay chose to keep quiet about the whole ordeal. Another thing Thing worth mentioning is that Descendants 3 takes place in the summertime. The VKs revealed that Audrey was staying at Oridon Prep for the summer because of summer school. Harry Hook thought this was hilarious and blamed summer school for Audrey's villainous rampage. <laughs> what? Summer school? Summer school? No wonder she wants revenge. <laughs> but we all know that that's not the case. If Lonnie wasn't at Oridon Prep, that means she didn't want to take summer classes and probably remained in her hometown of Northern Way. But according to Diane, Lonnie had no choice but to be written out of the script, and we'll reveal why in just a few moments. The real reason why Lonnie wasn't in Descendants 3 is stated on her Descendants fandom page. Here we find out that Lonnie is absent due to touring the United States of Oridon with her Roar team. Knowing this, it makes perfect sense that Lonnie wasn't at Jane's birthday party or involved in Descendants 3 whatsoever. But part of us still wishes that Jay would have talked about Lonnie at some point in the film. We were really rooting for this couple. Another reason why Lonnie wasn't in D3 has everything to do with the storyline. Main characters like Jay, Carlos, and Doug didn't have the most lines throughout the film, so adding Lonnie to the equation would have complicated things. In the end, the script for D3 was designed to follow Mal, Evie, Uma, and Audrey's stories, which sort of put other characters on the back burner. So at first, we thought that Lonnie was purposely written out of the D3 script to uncomplicate things, but that's not exactly true. In the end, the real reason Lonnie wasn't in Descendants 3 has everything to do with the actress who portrays her. Diane is a 28-year-old actress who started acting back in 2009. She played in a handful of short movies before being cast as Lonnie in 2014. For the next three years, Diane would voice her character in Disney Descendants School of Secrets and Descendants Wicked World, and she would also appear in D1 and D2. But by the time Diane wrapped up filming for Descendants 2, she realized that she wanted to expand her horizons, so she started auditioning for different roles. So when it came time to film Descendants, Descendants 3, Diane has some conflict issues that she could not ignore. As a result, the actress was unable to reprise her role as Lonnie, which led her to being written out of the script. While we do love the Jay and Lonnie ship, we couldn't help but fall in love with Jay and Gil's budding friendship throughout the threequel. I like how you get a kick out of a berry bush. I like the way that you can bounce around and jump off things. Jay and Gil might not have bonded if Lonnie had been around, so in the end, we're pretty happy with how things worked out. 
If Lonnie had been present in the film, the writers might have made Jay and Lonnie an item, which could have prevented Jay from going on a year-long voyage with Gil. All right. You know what would be fun? To go rafting down a jungle river. Find a lost civilization. Oh, or maybe a penguin. Let's put it to a vote to find out who the most popular couple is. Comment Jay and Lonnie or Jay and Gil in the comment section below. And that's a wrap. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.